Thank you for joining us. This is Orbit Network Training, Section 4, Solartron Wireless Products. Just to give a quick review here, Solartron offers uh, two different types of wireless measurement devices. These are high precision measurements with wireless data output, a class 1 Bluetooth signal with a 15 meter range. You have a single and multi-channel options, which is what you see here. And you also have removable and rechargeable batteries. In addition, these can, out, these can output directly to a computer or over the orbit network. In this section, for wireless products, we're going to have three basic components. First, in part A, it's just a Wii gauge overview, reviewing the components of the single and the multi-channel Wii gauges, the battery and the charging options, and also we're going to demonstrate how you can update a Wii gauge with the orbit network. In part B, we're going to discuss connecting Wii gauges directly to a computer. Then in part C, we'll be connecting the Wii gauges via orbit to the wireless connection module. It should be noted that we have other orbit training sections, and these are all loaded online on our YouTube channel. Section one is orbit basics. Uh, section two is connecting orbit to the software. And then section three is connecting to a protocol interface module. So first we will discuss the single channel Wii gauge. Now the single channel Wii gauge is basically a digital probe that is mounted into a hand tool. Uh, it is calibrated like a standard orbit probe, only this one has a Bluetooth antenna. And what happens is at the end of it, you basically have an M6 or an M10 threaded gauge head for diet test that you basically screw into the end of the Wii gauge. And then that basically comes into contact with the Solartron digital probe. And then you can thus take measurements. If you note the clip there, you can actually see the end of the Solartron digital probe if you look down the mounting hole. Now it should be noted too that the accuracy for a Wii gauge is actually partially dependent on the bore gauge head. Now again, in the Wii gauge is a digital probe and this does have the same accuracy and repeatability and resolution as any other digital probes. But here what you have is actually a two component system where you have a completely separate bore gauge head. So if a system like this is going to be used, we do recommend that you do some test measurements on the application to determine if the accuracy and the repeatability are within the specifications that you require. Now, these Wii gauges are built with a high impact ABS material, so they're actually tested to withstand a one meter drop. In addition, you do have an LCD screen on the handle as you noted there. We do have options without the LCD screen, but those have basically become discontinued as they are just not very popular. And then also these have the capability of providing less than 0.1 micron of resolution. So here's just an example of a Wii gauge being assembled. First it is being fitted with an M6 adapter, And then an M6 threaded diet test head is being fitted on the end. On the other side, a battery pack is being fitted. And then that is attached with a simple quarter turn screw. And then here's the Wii gauge checking a simple 10 millimeter hole. So next we will discuss the multi-channel Wii gauge. Now what you have with the multi-channel Wii gauge is that you do have the same handle as well as the same battery. But with this type of product, if you'll note the end of it just has a mounting plate. And then coming out of a hole in that mounting plate is connections for up to eight Solartron probes. So with this type of handle, you can actually connect up to eight Solartron digital probes. These are calibrated just like any other orbit probes. And then what the customer can do is create their own custom tooling to perhaps build a bore gauge or perhaps a snap gauge like what you see here. So this is one example um, where a multi-channel Wii gauge was created and then it's connected to six, uh, six millimeter digital probes. And then what the customer did was create their own end piece like what you see there. And then at the end of the end piece, you see the mountings for the six digital probes. The purpose of this particular gauge was it was to be a snap gauge to check outer diameters of a crankshaft like what you see here. So here's an example of a multi-channel Wii gauge checking out an inner diameter. 
you have two probes checking out the diameter at one plane and then two other probes checking out the diameter at a different plane. Now, in terms of battery power, either the single channel or the multi-channel Wii gauge have a simple battery pack like this that connects to the end. And you power either Wii gauge with the replaceable battery pack. Uh, the single channel is up to 10 hours of battery life. And the multi-channel is up to five hours of battery life. Um, these battery packs themselves should have a life of up to one to two years, depending on the frequency of charge, and they are easily interchangeable. And then you have several different types of charging options. Uh, the most common one is using an inductive charger, and for that we offer one of three types. Type A, where you just place it in a cradle, just like you see in the clip there. Uh, type B, which is just a simple C-shaped cradle that you typically mount along with some other tooling. Then a type D, which is where you can actually mount the Wii gauge vertically, like how you see there. Now, for the inductive chargers, they actually have a power supply pack that can actually power up to four cradles. In addition, you also have a plug-in option in case you just want to have a single Wii gauge and then plug it into the end of the battery. Now, in terms of data output, you have one of two options. The first is where you can output the readings from the Wii gauge directly into a computer via Bluetooth. Or you can output to a computer or a PLC via the Orbit network using the wireless connection module. You basically set up the Wii gauge with the wireless connection module and the data flows through there. With this, you can do up to six Wii gauges per connection module. Now with these, you can output to custom software, you can output to Excel, or some of the Solartron provided software packs such as Orbit GCS. Now that begs the question, what is the preferred method to connect the Wii gauges to a computer? Again, with the direct connection, you can do up to seven Wii gauges on one Bluetooth antenna on a computer. The issue we have seen over the years is that the quality of the Bluetooth antennas vary. In addition, the Bluetooth manufacturers will sometimes update their drivers or change their drivers, and that can lead to connection issues between the computer and the Wii gauge. Now with the wireless connection module, you do need to purchase a uh, interface module as well as a WCM itself, but that is a very low initial cost. In addition with this, it has been tested out and has a very solid Bluetooth connection that Solartron controls. And in addition, you can add as many um, Wii gauges as you need. Now, each wireless connection module connects to up to six Wii gauges. But if you have to use more than that, perhaps you have a bank of them, you just add another wireless connection module and then you can set up another five or six Wii gauges and then just continue onward. Another advantage of the wireless connection module solution is that it operates completely independent of the software drivers or Bluetooth drivers on a PC. So you have no potential problems there. It should also be noted that you can output the Wii gauge to a PLC over the protocol interface module using the wireless connection module. Now, Solartron does offer a way in which you can update the Wii gauge via the Orbit network, just like you can a digital module. For that, you take the Wii gauge and remove the battery pack. Then take a special Solartron cable and plug one side into the handle. And then plug the other side into the top of a T-connector. You then stack the T-connector with an interface module, such as the USB interface module here. Once it's plugged in and properly powered, you'll notice that the lights on the handle will light up. So now, once you have connected a Wii gauge to a USB interface module, go back to Orbit 3 Updater and click. And then highlight the USB interface module and click Ping. Now in essence, a Wii gauge is just another digital probe with a few extra add-ons, such as the Bluetooth. So that's why with this connector, the system is just, the software is just going to recognize it as another digital probe. So now if you'll see a module DP has came up here, this is the serial number for the Wii gauge. It is actually out of date. So now we'll just click update devices. You 
And once it's updated, it will signify as up to date up here. You can then just close the software and disconnect the Wii gauge. So that concludes part A of the Solartron wireless training. For parts B and C of the training, please click on the I in the upper right hand corner. Or if you are watching this on the playlist through the Solartron YouTube channel, please just sit tight. The next chapter should be playing momentarily.